Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. Can you, can you sorry, can you yeah, just yeah. explain what it's like to go there? I've personally yeah. never been to yeah. one of these sex yeah. parties. So if you could explain what that's like yeah, Chip, have you yeah. Been to and then finish off with the address i would love to try <laughs> yeah. one yeah but i don't know if i would get involved but i do actually want to go to a swingers party right yeah you Tell could us. just be a voyeur yeah cool i do too. i do want to go in see what it's like as long as you're not like just maybe a just man in maybe the corner. just dabble it's cool yeah dabble in a in a view just, just watch it just have a drink and yeah, dabble yeah, yeah. in my so my explain what, what are yeah. these sex parties and how do they operate yeah, how, how do they work what's it like going to one so Chip is like so excited I was talking about it the other day in New yeah. York. So I was in New York. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I said to my girl, I was like, we should go to a swingers party. She's like, eh? <laughs> yeah. But then but, she kept saying it all night. Like, let's go to a swingers party. I want to go now. But she was doing it like with yeah. the attitude. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, you're trying yeah. to... Yeah. Explain no, that. Carry Explain on, it though, to us. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, do you want to just no. like, how do you go? Or like, what do you need yeah. to know? Full yeah. process. The full full process. So let's say you, yeah. you, you're, you're starting at your house. Yeah. You go to it. How yeah. does it, is, is it a secretive thing? Like when you walk in or yeah. is everyone yeah. having yeah. sex? Is, does it is, start is it with even, food? How does it work? Is it legal actually? Is I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. Is it, is it legal be. to uh, yeah, host yeah. your own or are you talking like an actual yeah. event night? I don't know. No, I don't they're know. like huge. There to. are huge event nights, like a few. Um, and there's some that are like mixed. There are some that are women only. Okay. There are like different things that you, you do have like swingers clubs and things like that. And you have like, you have kink parties and like, like um like torture garden yeah things like that which is considered like Did, a sex party and they'll have like cost? a dungeon but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Do you, do you have to pay yeah, pay yeah. Exit, like is that buying a yeah. ticket yeah 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 yeah, okay. yeah 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 so, so it's, it's not like, not like you're paying for sex you're just like paying no 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 yeah yeah thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah and okay. often often um a lot of sex parties will have um like events as well like killing yeah. kittens is a really big one uh, come again killing kittens killing kittens do you want to do you want to know like a fun like where killing kittens comes from yeah go i ahead. only found this out recently so apparently it comes from this uh, i don't know whether it was like i might be getting this completely wrong whether it was in the bible or okay. like just the something that people would like preach um is that every time you masturbate god kills a kitten Oh my god! <laughs> Think about all the cats. Shit. I know. Think about know. them. So I don't know. I don't know where that came from, but that's like the kind of the killing kittens. Well, makes now sense. you know why I'm an atheist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I yeah, love there cats. You go. So there's yeah. like a little little fun fact for like behind killing kittens name. So what what does the actual event? Look like what is it? So yeah. you rock up, like, so it's called yeah, killing curious. kittens, and I don't really expect to turn up to see them. No, no, luckily not. Kittens. So this this one is like one that's quite like female led. So you yeah. can only it's either women can go solo, or you can only be invited if you're going with a woman. Okay. Um, so so you 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 buy a ticket, you dress up like it's quite it's quite like quite nice you'd probably dress in either in like a suit or something pretty smart yeah um and then they do different like event nights so sometimes there'll be like a cabaret show and you'll go and they'll be like really sexy like burlesque performances getting you like all like fired up in the mood you're watching these people like dance around semi-naked um and then and then there just seems to be like a point i i call it and this this is i thought other people called this it but i think it's just me yeah. um i call it the watershed moment <laughs> Like, you know, at TV where you used to have like 10 p.m., then you're yeah. allowed to swear and like talk about sex yeah. and things like that. So I call it like this watershed moment where what happens is is either whether it's like, for example, in a cabaret, the cabaret ends and then people can kind of like go out. People start taking like their clothes off and maybe having having sex, getting involved in different ways. Wow. Um, or it might be that there's like an erotic massage performance and you're kind of like watching these two people and people are getting aroused like through watching all of this. And then, and then, um, and then again, like people start taking the clothes off and just kind of, but you need almost like a catalyst yeah. to like get you in. Cause otherwise everyone's yeah. kind of like a little like, like the green flag awkward. really. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah so yeah, what would do. that be? What would be that moment that, well, like, that's what like, is that say, what you're like, saying? Like, you're yeah, saying yeah, that yeah. Uh, there'd be like a, like a like performance. Them, yeah, okay, or, I get you now. Or, or someone will just like, it takes... Uh, just someone takes, like, with a, a little bit of confidence. Yeah, yeah, it really does take someone with confidence. How many people are usually at these kind of things? Like, I think I, like, it I'm can trying vary. To, I'm trying to like create the scene in my yeah. head. Yeah, it can, you, it can vary from like, I know with theirs, I think some more, more intimate ones or... Or again, go like Jessica Parker Pleasure. Like I'll name drop her a hundred times because she's yeah. one of my favorite people here in London. Um, 
but she does like Pleasure Island parties and they're really intimate of like 30 people. And that's very like sensual focused. Like you get guided through some like touch exercises at the beginning, you get to know each other. Um, Killing Kittens can be like massive, like 100, 200 people. Um, and they do like big, like fancy manor parties as well, where you go out to the country or like go to a big manor house and there are loads of different rooms and not that I've ever been to one of those, but- So you haven't wow. been to a Killing Kittens I, one? I have, but you not have. that one, but not they do like- So, so okay. let's say we're in there, right? Yeah. Um, there's been a couple of shows, whatever. The show has started, yeah. which has kind of been the catalyst for yeah. everyone taking the off kit the clothes yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say for this example, we've got 50 people in one room, you know, it's, you yeah. know, how do you go, mm. like, how does the situation come about where you, like, start being intimate with one person? Do yeah. you just, is it just a case of, like, you both got your kit off, you go up to me, like, what's up, Cal? Like, yeah. that's a nice... Are you trying to do, you're like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I'd and, love, to, and, I'd and love it, you to run us through that if you yeah, can yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you think about, like, a normal house party, yeah. like, or an event that you go to, or, like, maybe when you're chatting someone up, Mm -hmm. Right, at, like I don't know if you guys have done that in your experience. Like you're at the bar. I've tried. Someone, you've tried. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's done levels, his best. Levels of success have been variable. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but I've, tr but I've tried. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that. So like maybe there's like someone who's like caught your eye. You kind of like go up to them. You're like, yeah. You maybe like maybe before people are like taking their clothes off. Maybe you have a chat. You get to know them. Is the vibe right? Is there like maybe like a casual touch on the shoulder? You're kind of like flirting. Um, and then and then if you're like feeling bold enough, like one of my favorite, and, and it might not come as a surprise, but actually quite a few of the clients that come to me along with other bits of their journey, like around shame, they're also quite interested in going to a sex party and mm -hmm. really building that confidence and getting to know their sexuality so that they can a find the right space that they want to go in, but like experience their sexuality in that way, because it can be so liberating to just be somewhere where everyone is so sexually open. Cause we hold so much shame around sex and sexuality mm -hmm. that like, when you can just see like a group of people being so liberated, you're like, wow, this is so normal. Yeah. Um, it's so normal. So it like really normalizes a lot and different body types, different penis shapes, different penis sizes. Some people might not even be erect because they might be having trouble, but that doesn't matter because yeah. everyone's yeah. just having a good so time. So here's, an, here's another one. I think, yeah. I think this is personally a good question. So example, <laughs> like this is just how humans work. Yeah. We could even take it back to a normal house party comparison. Mm. You know, we're at a house party, whatever. There are certain people that won't be attracted to certain people. Yeah. What yeah. if somebody goes to a sex party yeah. and for some reason, most of the people at this party are just not attracted to him or her? Yeah. Okay, what happens there? Yeah, how do, what mm. happen, do, you, do they feel you, ostracized yeah, from like, the like, whole thing? Or, or, yeah. or, is, or, or is sexual attraction not so much of a thing at these parties? Yeah. But I feel like it must be. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Do like, you know what I'm gonna say? Everyone's makes... different, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, is, is there an always an opportunity? Yeah. What would happen there? So I think, like, I mean, I've never experienced that, but, yeah. but, um, but I think, and but I've always gone with gone with a partner. Like, I've always gone with someone that I'm interested in yeah. in being with anyway. And I think that that that's that's always for me. That's always like if you're kind of wanting to go and you want to build that confidence, always go with someone. Um, but that 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 could happen and i think my like core piece of advice and like what i work with a lot of people on is like there can be so much like wounding around like rejection and that often stems from like our like our childhood like maybe our teen years maybe our early sexual experiences and this like sticks sticks with us and we can mm -hmm. take these things so personally so so personally but the bottom line is is like actually when we can notice that it's like other people's projections, it's not really about us. It's just that actually someone else, like we're not for someone else and that's okay. It doesn't mean we're wrong yeah. or we're bad yeah. or like we're like not good enough. It just means we're not someone's cup of tea, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but we're going to be loads of other people's cup of tea, sure. right? So, so that's always like my bit of advice and is like when we can integrate these hurt parts of ourselves, these wounds, maybe even these like, pieces of trauma that we've like picked up from experiences that we've had that have like made us feel rejected and then we fear that we'll be rejected again uh, when we can integrate that like you can just go out with like so much confidence like I now I used to like oh my god if someone said no to me I'd be like oh, so hurt I might even, I'd yeah. probably even cry like yeah. let's be honest like I would probably have a cry I would probably feel it for a week now I'm like yeah cool 
whatever. Whatever. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, is that only? Like, I might you not be your it. cup of tea, but I'll be someone else's yeah. cup of tea. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't it. really and matter. Like, it's, it's cool. It's cool. And like, actually, I really respect you for sticking with what it is that you want and being honest with me. Yeah. And that's so much more like important to me than someone being like, oh, like maybe or like, oh, no. But you also have yeah. to, I don't know, you might, you might get some people who are like, Really rude. And yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if someone's a dick about it, then you yeah, have the right to be upset or yeah, angry. Yeah, like, yeah, you don't yeah. need to be. You can yeah. be nice well, and say no. Yeah. I would still say if someone's a dick about it, that's about them. They're just yeah. a dick. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. about that's me. Wrong, like, wrong. if someone, if someone's like, oh no, I don't like really. I'd be like, I might be a bit hurt, but I'll be like, they're still the dick. Like yeah. in yeah. this situation, like I'm still cool. In terms of. So at these parties, is it yeah. does it then just develop? So once that green flag happens, mm. is it then really just a case of like a big room where everyone's just having sex in front of everyone? Is that how it works? Or, 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 or do they, they all go into like different rooms, different things? Like what, so what, varied. How does it? So varied. Because in my head, I just yeah. have like almost like a massive room. Yeah. And everyone's just pouring. Here's, I've, here's what I've got pictured. A massive room. Yeah. Very nice furniture a yeah. little bit yeah. classic maybe some all, sex and ikea then, and, furniture and then um and then very like mm. a lot of red lights that's what i can see yeah right. yeah but that's all i think that's only become come yeah. from some of the movies i've watched another thing about these yeah. parties right yeah does everyone wear protection or is it like mm. you get tested before that's you good, go that's a good question how, how does that work so i think often it's down to discretion um, every party. So this is the thing with every every party will have different rules. Yeah. yeah. So if for anyone who like is interested in exploring, like and finding like a party that they're interested in going to, always read the rules because yeah. some some they'll they'll be different for different things. Yeah. Um. In general, like protection is encouraged, but say you're going with like your long term partner and you don't yeah. use protection together, like that's kind of considered like normal as well. Um. But like. For for me personally, like if it's if it's like a new sexual partner in in any scenario, like I will always use yeah of course protection. Gotta be safe. Um, yeah, you gotta so be safe. Do you go, be safe. Do you so they have this? they have bowls of condoms and things. It's right? Like, it's yeah, that, like, yeah, kind yeah. Of stereotype, but, but it's it, real. In my head, yeah. when you say you go to these sex parties, yeah. you're not going to have sex with just one person. Yeah, is it? Is mm. it see, so the, is that, would, a, is that a stereotype? Head, I would imagine so it. It might be like a stereotype. You have a few people. I have a stereotype yeah. in my so head. Though. Every everyone's different. So some people might go. For me, like I'm, I'm what I would consider like very demisexual, and what that means is I need to have like a strong emotional, like intimate connection yeah. with someone um, mm. to like really actually be sexually attracted to them. Like, like if it's someone that I just meet, I'm kind of like, or if I've like gone on like maybe one day, I'm kind of like, I might be attracted to them physically, yeah. but like sexually I'll be like, mm, not yet. Yeah. Kind of like just a friend. Um, but like for me, when I really get to know someone and like get to know like their personality, like get to know their quirks, things like that. And then that they're the kind of things that like I find more sexually attractive. So for me personally, like often, no, I would only go with my partner and like be with my partner. Um, or like if, if we're like, say we'd invite someone else like along with us as yeah. well that like maybe we know or like we've been flirting with or something like yeah. that. But I, I wouldn't often pick someone up okay. at the party, but I know so many people who do. So everyone again yeah. is different. What like their do needs are. Do people approach are you? Different. Like if you're at the party with somebody. <laughs> of course. Come, of course. Right? I, I can't imagine <laughs> yeah. at a sex yeah. party, like the people come over to you, like how would they approach you? What would they you, say? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, they do. And it could be quite like, <laughs> it's just making me giggle because it's like, I'm very nice with my letdowns. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's safe. Like, I, you, like, you I be can nice do it really it. like, lo like with love. Like, yeah. I think yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. really important to me. Um, and I'll explain that like, hey, like actually yeah. I really like to get well, to know Well, you don't someone. want someone to feel yeah. bad about yeah. having, they've yeah. had the confidence yeah. to come yeah. up to you. That's it. Yeah. I often and commend their confidence. You know, I'd be like, oh just, my God, I love yeah. being asked. Like, yeah. thank you so, so much what, So what is it then that yeah. you like like about going to sex parties if you're just yeah. going to be with one person? Does that make sense? I hope it doesn't yeah, yeah, come yeah, across yeah. the wrong way, but no, it's it like doesn't. you're you're going to somewhere else to have sex with the same person, but with loads of other people having sex around you. Is there something about everyone else having sex that you like? Yeah, around you or, or yeah. what's, what's the good man okay. it's that feeling of like being so uninhibited it's yeah. like it's it's that everything's normalized and that it's like when sex carries so much like shame yeah. around it 
then you're in this environment where everyone is just free and like people are like so meeting meeting values. people there and like getting together and like I'm like and like people are like really enjoying exploring their sexuality and there's almost like this like I uh, you might have guessed already but like I'm very energetic like I like the tantric stuff I like yeah. the I like the eye gazing I like the playing with like the energy around the body like the skin things like that um, so there's almost like this electricity in the air as well, which is like very erotic to, to kind of be in that space. And you've got all of like this electricity kind of like buzzing around you. Um, so it like makes me feel more like more sexually excited as well, because I'm like, wow, like this is like electric. And it's quite yeah. exciting because it's like novel. It's like, this is so different. It kind of like shakes it up a bit. 